This is Ozzy Griffin uh, responding to uh, sexual orientation and dating transgendered uh, pe people. A couple of years ago, I'm working at a call center near a shopping center, and one of my co workers asks me if I want to grab lunch with her. And she's tall, and I dig that, and she's pretty good looking. Uh, by anyone's standards, and I dig that too. And we go, and I realize that, yes, yeah, she's transgendered. And it doesn't bother me in the slightest. We sit, we talk, she knew about ancient Carthage. God, I love that. And it turns out that what she was expecting in me just wasn't there. So, she kind of didn't take that any further, and I wasn't bothered by that. I usually very seldom am. However, I think that was one of the defining moments where I realized that if you look at a dating website which caters to both men and women in a public break room and one of the random images of one of their users on the front is a guy that is exceptionally gay looking, people can get the wrong idea about you even if that doesn't particularly bother you. And would I have gone out with her if she'd asked? Yeah, probably. You know why? Because I'm an adult. I'm mature about that. And I consider a relationship strength to be emotional involvement and communication of both emotional involvement and life issues. So, yeah. <clears throat> Not to mention, uh, there's quite a few guys who consider themselves uh, straight, normal, uh, run-of-the-mill blokes who will date transgendered women. Mostly because they understand, they empathize, they communicate. So, I'm a true example that people can move past that and not fly into a tizzy because they don't understand how they're feeling relative to the situation they're in. I examine my feelings, I like to think fairly closely. And while I can't articulate all of my emotions, I know how I feel about stuff and I know what I should and shouldn't be upset by and be afraid of. So, yeah. I was not upset by uh, what she used to be, and I was not upset by her past, because she didn't bring her past to the table, she brought her present, and I liked her present. Ah, well, better to have loved and lost, and lost it in the break room of a job you no longer have. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and thank you so much for bringing this topic up, I think you did a great video.